Everyone, almost everyone, is looking out at the camera getting their photograph taken. The young man looks oblivious, and to my eyes, he's looking straight at Emily Carr. Emily Carr writes very little about loves in her life. Uh, she does talk just a little tiny bit in fragments about how she lost her heart, her perfectly good heart, one day after playing tennis to a young man who was only flirting with her and she didn't know it. And she writes, it took her 15 years to build her heart back again. I'm wondering if the photographer has captured that young man and that dynamic. And it's a new look at Emily Carr. It's a, a redefinition of her as a young woman paired with uh, fantastic new works by uh, local artist Menon Elder um, of, of Emily herself based on the historical photographs. So it's just, it's a fantastic exhibit, very exciting. You get to see all sorts of uh, Emily's work, but also um, a look at who she was as a young person. I looked at every single photograph of Emily as a young woman. And time again, there she is, uh, speaking to me. So in 2001, I made the first two paintings of her. Uh, the one was the green dress, which is the first one here. Oddly enough, it's also the last painting that I did. I came full circle with that image. And in between that time, I just kept learning more and more about her. Um, but what I never, ever, ever expected in my entire life is that my work would actually be shown with her work. The talents of our staff, whether we're talking about our curators, our conservators, our historians, our exhibition staff, they are the ones that actually take that story and make it publicly engaging and interesting and add new information and make it available for the public.